Okay, so hi guys, this is Miss Lollipop and welcome back to another video from me or welcome to my channel if you are new. So in today's video, we are back with another review of the new pack, the Dream Home Decorator Pack. So I'm very excited to go ahead and jump right into today's video. The last video that just went out is a Creator Sim video. It's my review of the Creator Sim items that come within the pack, whether you should buy the pack based on the Creator Sim items, and if you're a Creator Sim player and you'd like to create Sims, whether it would be worth it for you. Um, I already gave all my opinions over there, so I will include that in the little eye in the top right hand corner if you want to go ahead and check that video out. But in today's video, we are going to be covering the build by and the gameplay of the pack. So let's go um, follow Lisa into the game. We're going to go check out the build by stuff first and then we'll move on to the gameplay and then I'll give you my final verdicts of whether I think this pack is worth your coin. Okay, so I'm going to go in and specifically filter by the new pack, the Dream Home Decorator pack, and we are going to go through um, and furnish a little bit of the shabby, um, a little bit of the shabby apartment for Lisa because right now it ain't it. Okay, so she's going to need a little bit of help okay i really really like the sectional sofas love those they come in a few really interesting colors as well um but i love the placement of those i think the sectional sofas are great i think they look incredible the only thing i'm a little bit worried about i was mentioning that the sectional sofas they only come with this pack they don't come as an update so whether they're going to consider including sectional sofas in another pack would kind of take away the, the special thing of this pack, which is the sectional sofas, because is, is it going to be another um, My First Pet stuff where you had to have cats and dogs to get most of the features from a pack? Are they going to include a pack? And it's like, if you have this pack, then you get extra sectional sofas. But if you don't have this pack already, um, then you can't get any sectional sofas with it. Like, is it going to be something like that? I'm thinking maybe they should have included sectional sofas as an update instead of including it as a feature, because you are kind of limited then in terms of your sectional sofas you can only have these but personally as a cc downloader i'm sure that there's going to be amazing creators out there that are going to go and make cc versions of these which means i'll have loads of different options of sofas to use so um let's try out a few of these um oh i do really like that you know what in general the build by items that come in this pack they're such good quality the quality of them is really really nice i do really like them i love all the detail that's been put into them uh we've also got a coffee table as well is this a coffee table yes it is it's like a little fabric coffee table love that that fits like so nicely just in there i don't know if they can actually get around it but it looks great <laughs> if the sims could actually get around that i would be entirely surprised but i think that looks i think that looks really cute this is is really really pretty i love where they include pillows on the seats i love this because it means i haven't got to add my own cc pillows um let's check out the tables if we want to get like a little table and chairs sorted the architecture of a lot of these build by items they're all scandinavian i believe they said um and i can definitely see that in terms of what we're looking at here that definitely comes across like that we've got another dining room table that's so unique i love that oh that one is so cute but it kind of looks like a desk wait this isn't a desk is it no it definitely is a table it looks like you can't fit all the seats around it but you can we've also got a bar store as well that one's really cute love the um uh, i love i love the coloring of that too that's really really nice but for round here, I'm thinking we will just use, uh, let's just go for these ones and then we'll grab these in a nice bright color. We're going to head off into the kitchen and check these out. Sorry, Lisa, but I'm going to have to go kick you out because I need to check out the new kitchen items. So we have some new countertops. Uh, let me check these out. We've also got the island of them. Love that. Love those. Love the detail of them. Love the fact that we can see the drawers on them. We've also got another set these are my favorite oh my god i love these so much let me let me check the color swatches oh yeah i really like these really really like these i would definitely get some use out of them i love the handles on them they're really modern but also contemporary i feel like you'll be able to use them anywhere oh we had some more coffee tables that i missed we've got some smaller ones uh these are the modular coffee tables that actually connect together as you can see they're automatically automatically connecting together without me doing anything which is really cool um but in general those coffee tables are really nice why don't we review the lights next we can actually <laughs> see what's going on in this house we'll do one of those lights then we'll do one of these ones over this side then in this room we'll do um we'll do this one in here 
There we go. Look, we've got a light in every. Look, we've got a different light in every room. There you go. Now you get a chance to see all the lights. Um, maybe, maybe these ones in like a little nursery. I'm thinking. I, I feel like I would get the more use out of that in a nursery. And then these ones I would put maybe in a kitchen, like over the top of some islands or something. But I do like those. I really should have started this review with some lights in the house, shouldn't I? <laughs> There. What was I trying to do? I love the little tassels at the end of that rug. I really, really wish they were 3D, but it's okay. I still really like them, and I think the tassels on them look great. Um, and in terms of color swatches, they're really nice. They do come across as like Aztec patterns, Scandinavian patterns. So I see the vibe that they're going for in this. And then we've got a slightly bigger rug just here. And this is gorgeous. Absolutely love that. I think that looks really, really pretty. Is it just me who feels like a lot of the items that come in the pack looks like CC? I'm definitely getting like CC vibes here without like, you know, I, I really am. Is it just me who's feeling like this is CC? It, it definitely looks like CC and they all stick together. We've also got a loads and loads. Oh my God, look at all this stuff. You can make a fully like mounted TV. Normally I make these myself in game with CC. I normally include this. I put a TV over it and then I go and grab ca kitchen cabinets and shelves and I put them all the way around the edge to make it look like a TV setup. I don't have to do that anymore. <gasps> Oh my God, look at this guys. Look how good that looks. That looks so, so good. So good. Oh, I love that. So this is amazing. This is like the best feature of the pack. I'm not even kidding you. I really, really like that. And I love the fact that they all snap together. And if you grab the parent that they're all connected to, so I believe I placed this one first. Was it this one first? What one was it? Because they're all connected together with each other like this. So this was the parent. You can, if you click on the one that you placed first, you, you grab the whole set. Um, and then these ones are connected separately. I love the fact that they move all together so you can just move them around the house. We're gonna have a look at some of the items that come for the bedrooms. So let's go for the single beds first. Let's get the single beds out. I could see this being used in the dormitories. I really, like this bed in particular, don't you see this being used in the university housing? I feel like we've finally got something else to use in uni housing. Loads of my friends, when I would go visit them in uni, would have this type of bed. Like it was just, yeah, it's just the staple like uni bed. We never get this many build buy items though, right? Is it just me who thinks that? We never get this many build buy items in a pack, like ever. I like the fact that we've got matching of the single and the double bed as well. This is a really nice bed. I think this is probably one of my favorites, the design on the, on the top of it. We've got one more double bed, which is just this one here, which is the same as one of the single beds that we just saw. And I think that one is really pretty too. Um, and it, they all come in the same colors too. So if you're gonna match up a whole bedroom, you can find the whole set, which is great because I hate the fact that some of the woods don't match or some of the colors don't match. It's so annoying. Um, and then this is one of the bunk bed sets. So this comes with a bed already underneath, which you can actually take out and add back in. This is one of the new um, bunk beds that came with the pack. It's a single bed, but it's turned into a bunk bed. I think this is really, really nice. Um, I love this so, so, so much. I love all the new bunk beds. I think they're great. This one is the kids bunk bed, which I love. I've already used this in my whimsy challenge and I love the fact that these roll down. I feel like they can turn it into their own little personal nook. And I think this is amazing. I love this bed so, so, so much. And then we've got this bunk bed just here. This one I feel like would suit a child's bed or this one would definitely suit a dormitory. I feel like I would see these all around dorms with the, maybe with the double bed, with the single bed underneath it. I see that, I see that as like a, in the university housings, I can see that being used, really like that. And we've also got this bunk bed too. I did not expect this many items and this bunk bed. Wait, oh, this is oh, this is just a, the same bunk bed that I've seen with the with that underneath there. Okay, well, this is our new bunk bed. I'm shocked that there is so much stuff included in, the, in so much build buy stuff included in this pack. There is so much and so much stuff that is actually really usable. It's not like it only works in certain you know certain areas. So excited about this. This is the new child's play tent. I think that is really, really fun. Um, everybody's been saying that they think that the design on it could be because the next pack could be to do with nature and, and farming. And everyone's like, oh my God, look, the cow and the chicken, it must be to do with farming, which technically it could be. But I think I think the next pack might be something to do with, um, with fairies and maybe included in farming. Maybe they include like nature things included with fairies. Um, but I have seen a lot of Few speculations about fairies but either way yeah i'm getting distracted uh we've got some really nice pieces of artwork too love those completely usable i would definitely use those 
in my game without even using CC. I love the artwork of that. And I've also got a few different ones too. <gasps> I love these. I'm so impressed, guys. I, seriously, I'm not even joking. You guys know that I'm a complete stickler when it comes to being impressed. I'm never the type of person to be like, oh my god, wow, look at this pack. I really am like, oh, but they could have done this. Or, oh, they could have done this. I feel like I'm such a, like, a negative person when it comes to uh, The Sims, <laughs> maybe. Um, I think these look great. Okay, actually, I was in the kitchen and I completely forgot to add in these bits over here. Um, so we've got a new oven. Um, but it, I think it's an actual in-counter oven. Let me try placing down one of the counters. I think I'm gonna go with this set just here. Let me just use it as a quick example. So we've got the hob that fits on just the top. And then this is the oven section to it. So you can actually, can you, can you add them over the top? Oh no, you can't like combine them. Uh, what is this one then? What's the difference? Oh, I think they might just be different. They both are ovens, but they're both, um, Oh, and we've got another version of the hob too, like a more industrial hob. And then these are the other oven versions of them to match them. You know, this one matches that one and then this one matches that one. There is so much build buy stuff, guys. So much build buy stuff. I feel like I could just talk about it forever. Like I've been going for 20 minutes talking about build buy stuff and I really am supposed to be covering gameplay in this video. <laughs> then we've also got loads of pieces of clutter. I did remember they mentioned, they, they mentioned something about all the pieces of clutter that they've got in... Um, in this pack in particular, um, there is loads and loads of different pieces of clutter that you can use. We've got like shoes that we can put up there. What, what's this? This is some like weird abstract looking pieces of pieces of stuff. Um, and then I think we should cover our, oh my God. Okay, this, my favorite. Okay, I, guys, I've got a thing about these feathered plants. I'm not even kidding you. I love these in real life so much. I've always wanted to get one, but it's never gonna fit in my bedroom until I get a bigger bedroom or I move out. This is my favorite item in the whole entire game. I'm not even kidding you. This is my favorite. I love, I really wished it would have come in different options so that you could change the feathers at the top. Um, or whatever they are. I, I don't even know what they are, but change the colors of them because I know they do come in like spray painted versions. Yeah, so there's the modular wardrobes. So if I just attach these together, you can see that these have got like little hooks on them. And then if I go and grab the clothes, I can just pop the clothes up there, which means that you can make like walk-in wardrobes, like actual walk-in wardrobes. You can also turn the clothes around like this. Oh my God, love, 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 love. And you can change all the colors of the clothes as well incredible god the build buy of this pack is so good i mean realistically you would expect it it's a dream home decorator pack the one thing i love about this pack is every single set matches the bathroom matches the bedroom matches the kitchen matches everything matches everything in this pack it's so so good just so good at matching everything we've also got this sink just here which is like more of a freestanding one like freestanding on the wall as you can see just here then we've also got this one here which is like a little bit larger um still freestanding but you know a little bit larger than the other one that one's kind of my favorite i really i really really like that too okay so as like my final verdict of build by i am so so impressed guys there is so much good stuff in this pack that you guys are really that you guys who are so talented at building are really going to enjoy um getting your hands on and going crazy with it there is so many variations of things there is so much content in it that honestly even if the gameplay was kind of meh i would say if you're a builder you would just buy it for the build items the build items are worth that alone they're so good there's so much build content in it um if the gameplay is kind of air which i've heard that there is some issues with gameplay um it might impact my ideas of whether i recommend the pack as an overall pack because realistically it's a game pack it needs to have gameplay in it you can't just have a pack full of stuff otherwise that would be a stuff pack you know um but just in general the items are so like they're so good guys the the build by items are so good they're so well made gorgeous really really impressed and the new career that came with this pack is the interior decorator career. Um, the medium gig pay is 600 and we start off as an interior color consultant. So we start off and we already have average, average reputation and average performance. And it's very similar to the actor, actor career where you can just go and select a gig. So let's go and select one and see what we can do. The only one that we can select is a room renovation. It starts today at 9 a.m. I love the fact that it starts today and I don't have to wait until tomorrow. Um, the client's budget is 4.5, pays 5.40. Client's Becca and it's a residential. Okay, let's do it. I'm excited. Starts 9 a.m. Thursday. I'm reading this right, right? It's currently a Thursday at 9 a.m. It's supposed to tell me that my job's starting, right? And then I go off <laughs> to my job. Okay, well, I'm gonna try and get rid of the gig 
because it was supposed to be today until nine and nobody's nobody's called me to ask me about anything so i'm just going to quickly cancel the gig the clients are shocked they are incredibly sad and even a loss for words upon receiving your resignation well sorry but like nobody called me to give me access to your house so i don't know what i could do and we've got another room renovation uh starting at friday at nine let's try that one instead hopefully we actually get a call tomorrow morning otherwise we're never gonna be able to go to our job uh lisa has a decorated gig in one hour go to the client's lot on time to chat with them about what they are looking for before starting renovation so does it call me at nine o'clock to tell me that i need to go or what because this is new last time i i set up a gig that the first gig that i set up this they didn't give me a notification about this so am i stupid was i was I, could i actually have gone to the first gig okay so we just arrived and honestly are you, like are you sure you want me to renovate this this is gorgeous just in itself anyways this is this is stunning we need to go and uh say hello right let's go over to our client and say hello and uh, taking before and after photos to document your work is an, in an interior designer is important. Learn how to take control and get that perfect shot. So we do need to get to know the client, which is optional, but obviously you probably want to do that. Um, let me ask to see her Simtrest board. Let me let me see what have you got on Pinterest? Insult taste and uh, decor. Yeah, that's not let's not start out like that ask about her taste and decor too let's find out any information we can look at this okay i think this is already an interaction in the game this is the same interaction from the portfolio i think that comes with uh eco lifestyle that was a similar interaction to that so we now know that she dislikes mischief which doesn't really tell us much Ooh, we like we have learned that she likes patio decor and she likes queen and decor that's really really useful really useful you can thank them for the opportunity. Oh, I love that. You can thank them for that. <gasps> Look at this little interaction. She's showing them like, um, she's showing them the designs that she's got or like the, the color swatches and things. Look how cute that is. Like, she's put out a little color swatches and she's showing her them. I'm really struggling to find out more about her. Apparently there's two more things. Is there like another client that I could get to know? Okay, what can I do in the house? I can inspect things. Okay, go and inspect the containment barrel. What's she got going on in here? Oh my god, look at her. What colour should I make this containment barrel? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Inspects redacted tendril. Do you guys remember that whole thing that happened on Twitter about the redacted thing? Is this something to do with that? Is that anything to do with that? That's really, in like, I don't know. I is this a I've never seen this tendril in the game before. Is this something that came with the new pack? I don't think it did. I need to be quick because it's like, it's already like 12 o'clock and I haven't even got on to, to doing anything. And she also hasn't shown me or told me what room she wants. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me let me just look at this. Okay, we suddenly came into a few simoleons and thought, what the heck, let's change things up. Can you renovate a room for us just to change the pace? Give us a holler and we tell you some things we like or don't like. At least there's like a little section where you can actually um, go into to do the interactions for the interior design. Um the interior design you know gameplay and stuff i like the fact that it's all included in one little interaction area because it'd be really annoying if i had to keep scrolling through the friendly options to try and find all the options that came. okay so i don't know anything more i cannot find out her other like or dislike i've sat here and tried for ages and it's not coming across as anything so currently i know that she likes queen and decor and i know she dislikes mischief that's the only things that i really know about her so i'm gonna just go and send her away so you won't be able to discover any more of the likes and dislikes once they leave i'll head out so you can get started see you later <gasps> okay so let's go upstairs and let's see what we can do to her house okay so if i click here i can take before photos if i come up here and do that i think we're gonna do the bedroom i think i think i think we'll try the bedroom we'll try some queen and decor in the bedroom okay so we're gonna get a quick before photo and then we can actually move around with the camera, which is very convenient. And then we'll get one in the other direction too um, of the bed. I think that's good. Okay, we've got all of our before photos and now we can enter build mode and make the renovations. Desks and computers. Okay, so don't include that. Let me check the queen and decor. Do I have to do queen and decor of everything if she likes the queen and decor? Because it's like, some of this stuff is so ugly. <laughs> it's gonna look like such a bad renovation if I just keep using this on all of the, like on everything. Okay, I'm trying to think of what else I would put in her bedroom for her. Um, Maybe a, maybe a seat, somewhere to sit. 
It could be worse, right? <laughs> it could definitely be worse. I've gone Queen Anne on everything. Like, if she tells me that she has changed her mind on Queen Anne, she's gonna hate this bedroom. She's gonna hate this bedroom, honestly. But this bedroom is catered to the Queen Anne of of queenness. Right, okay, I have decorated to the theme of Queen Anne. She didn't give me a specific color that she liked, so I just went Queen Anne everywhere, you know? Like, she said she liked Queen Anne. If she changes her mind now, I'm screwed. So I think I like it. It's not too bad. It's a bit busy for my taste, and I certainly wouldn't like it, but hey, she said she liked Queen Anne. I'm giving the woman some Queen Anne. Okay, there we go. I think I'm finished. I've added a few little rugs in. I think it's looking cute. Um, I'm definitely under budget. I've been allowed 18,000 after I deleted everything in the bedroom. Um, but I don't think I need to go anything over that. I think I've done a, a pretty good job and she's got exactly what she wanted. So I'm pretty sure I could click and actually go to the location of the photo um, where she took each photo. But is it actually going to work? It's a bit much, isn't it? It's a bit much. But she asked for it, okay? Don't, don't question. Don't question it. She asked for this. Okay, there we go. I've taken all the after photos and now the only thing to do is to reveal the newly decorated space to the client. So it's only one o'clock in the afternoon. That's not too bad. I managed to get it all done quite quickly. So we can click on the decorator sim and use the phone. Uh, use the phone or use the relationship panel to call the client back to the lot. So we can click here. I'm guessing it's going to be in the business section. What is going on here? This is broken. Okay, call clients to lot. Here we go. Let's go ahead and call them. So now is where we prepare the before and after photo. So let me go and get them set up. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna go call the call the client back. So I think she's about to go downstairs to do that. Okay, show off objects, chat with the clients, and ask the clients for their final verdict. Look at this cute little interaction, and she points over to the um she points over to the wall and she's feeling all nervous. You can see that she's like, oh, so nervous. That's so cute. Oh, look at her. She's covering her little eyes. <gasps> She's so excited. That is so cute. But I don't know where we're going. Is she going to come up here and like, look? Oh, she's coming. She's coming. Or is she coming? No, she's walking around in circles. No, she has no bloody idea where she's going. Look at her. <laughs> Guys, what? She just walked through the house. <laughs> where is she going? What are you doing? Love, where are you going? Oh, she's coming. She's coming. Okay, here we go. She's coming in. She she just had a bit of a trouble finding her way. She was so shocked. <gasps> Look at her. She's so excited. Did you see that interaction? She was so excited. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm excited. Okay, so I need to show off some objects. Okay, let me show off your new bed. Check this out. What do you think about it? Oh, she's, she thinks she likes it. Oh, also, I got you this adorable little dog. Look, look how cute it is. Look, this adorable little little dog. Oh, yeah, she likes that. Does she like it? And then I'm going to show her the new dresser. It's all matching set. Oh, she likes it. She likes everything. Okay, this is really good. And then we need to chat with her a little bit. So let's um, maybe discuss her interests a little. Okay, there we go. So I've finished talking to her. So can I now ask for the final verdict. Artemis is still looking around and once ready, an indicator will appear above her head. Okay, so let me just uh, stop talking to her and let her just chill and I'll let her decide, you know, whether she's ready to... Oh, she's having a look at the paintings. She likes those. Oh my God, she loves it. <gasps> look at her, she's crying. Okay, if she's crying, it must be great. She's physically crying over the dresser. She's crying over the dr Oh my god, where am I going? She's crying over the dresser. Okay, let me ask her for a final verdict. Please be good. Was it good? That seems to go really nicely and the client really seems to like the new layout. The keen eye for detail seemed to really pay off, but like... How though? What? Well, that was just great. Um, my game got to the very end of the renovation and then decided to not give me any information. It crashed pretty much. Like it was just stuck on one screen. So I had to force quit the game. Um, and now I've lost all the progress. So great start. Seriously, love loving that so far. Really, really highly recommend. Um, Okay, well, never mind. Let's uh, continue on from here. Unfortunately, the cute little renovation that I did to the apartment is now gone. Okay, so I promoted her all the way up to level 10. Um, she got the issues of interior design magazines. She got some new clothes. She got the ability to discuss latest trends. 
Um, she got a rug, some new some new clothes, some new clothes again. You can write interior decorator articles on the computer, suggest bold home makeover ideas, and then also at the very end you get a nice nifty little laptop. So that is the very final thing. So let's go ahead and check out what gigs you can do when you finally reach level 10 of the career. You've got room renovations over here, room additions, level additions, uh, level renovation. So let me see everything. So this one pays 1400 um, and that is for a level renovation. If you've got the Smolians, um, if you've got the, the vision, I'll pay generously for a level renovation because really I'm just bored with the current layout. Okay, so that's pretty cool. That's gonna pay me 14 grand. That's a lot of money, right? That's, 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 like the, that's the most out of everyone. Is that because it's a whole level renovation? Like, am I, do I get paid that much because it's the whole, like a whole floor? Okay, so once again, nine o'clock has rolled on round and we didn't get the opportunity to take that gig. So it looks like um, when you take a gig, um, if it's too close to the time that the gig starts, that they just ignore it and then you have to go and cancel it. So um, I don't know if I should wait until the next day to cancel it or if I should wait and see like what happens. I'm not really too sure. Okay, so we haven't got anything that's paying anywhere near as much as the last one. That one was big, a big fat payout. But we have got a living room renovation. I wanted to do something. I, no, I want to do something different, like an actual like floor renovation or something. Um, let, maybe let's not go for the one that pays the most. Let's just pay for one that, you know, is good. So somebody wants a top floor office and bathroom addition. They want an addition on their house. They It pays a thousand smolians, but they do have a big budget for it. So I think we'll take that one instead. And that one starts on Friday at 9 a.m. So let's go over here and talk to Gideon. We're going to go and give a friendly introduction. At least there's two clients this time. So maybe we'll be able to find out a little bit more information about what their likes and dislikes are. We'll be able to find out what they both like and dislike. Okay, I'm asking to see his mood board. He's showing me some sinks. Am I doing anything to do with sinks? I am doing a bathroom addition. That kind of makes sense. Oh, I found out some more information about them. Okay, so he dislikes the color brown. So let's not include anything that's brown. And he also really likes garden decor. Okay, how can you like garden decor, but you don't like the color brown? Literally, garden decor is like brown, right? Like, and green. Like, the soil is brown. So I hope he doesn't get pissed off because the soil is brown. <laughs> Imagine. Okay, we're trying to find out some information from Leanne. And she gave us our final last one. So we found out she dislikes media production and she likes contemporary decor. So we're going to go for a combination of garden decor and contemporary decor. But there we go. And we can't find out any more about them. So now it's time to go and take some photos. So the goal of this is to do a top floor office and bathroom addition. This work from home thing is becoming more normal every day. In order to get in the right mind space, I need to feel like I'm stepping into a place of work. So I'm thinking we can add a top floor, make it an office, but we'll also need an extra bathroom up there because for some reason doing work makes me poop. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, because this is like an addition, um, I'm guessing that we're gonna have the stairs go somewhere around here. So what I'm gonna do is, oh, they have a kid too. Is the kid going? Sorry, I didn't ask the kid if she wanted anything. Anyways, we're gonna go. Up, we're gonna come up here and take our before photos here because this is where we're gonna do the stairs up, you know, to the next floor. Because it's an addition, your before photos like aren't really gonna be any good, right? Because like I'm not taking photos of before the renovation. Well, I am in the area, but like you know. You, do you get what I mean? Like, you're not gonna be able to see everything properly. So, okay, I think what my goal is for this, for this renovation, I'm pretty sure th this, okay, restricted to the top floor. These are the restrictions for the venue. When they say that they want the top floor, do they mean that they want me to do another floor on top? Okay, so because I have having to do like a whole top floor renovation, I've also got to redo the roof uh, that they had as well. This isn't using my client's budget for any of this build that I just did. I think I'm doing this for absolutely nothing, guys. <laughs> for some reason, like, it's almost like what I'm doing it doesn't mean anything. I just built this whole upstairs. It's not charging them anything. Well, I think, <laughs> I think I'll just continue on anyways. And it's like, um, if they don't like it, they don't like it, you know? Or if it doesn't count, it doesn't count. At least I tried my hardest to build what they wanted me to. Now, because I'm doing like a whole floor renovation, they give me a budget of seven grand. Do they want me to like do the exterior too? Like, do they want me to put in all the windows? 
Okay, so the client said that they like garden decor and contemporary decor. They don't like the color brown, so please do not give them the color brown. They didn't tell me what colors they liked. I am gonna try and theme it around what they have downstairs. I don't know if this is the style that they like. Also, they really need to clean out. Oh, that's disgusting. They really need to clean out their cat litter. But they want a bathroom and living, uh, a bathroom and office, but I currently have no budget to stick to. I'm just gonna decorate the room with what I, you know, what I feel like they would like, I don't know. Cause right now nothing is going against the budget. So I'm just going a little crazy and doing what I think they would like. And then we'll just have to hope that they like it. But they like contemporary and they also like um, garden deco. So let's put in garden. So we have a lot of plants to choose from, which is great because I think they're gonna want a lot, a lot of plants in here. And then what have we got for the rugs? Um, they didn't tell me specifically what color they like. Also, we've unlocked this. You, uh, you unlock it by reaching level five of the interior design skill, which actually looks really nice. Let's see, what have we got for clutter? Oh yeah, a little pot, <laughs> little pot of those for sure. I want that on my desk. I love the fact that you can filter by this. Okay, that is one thing that I really do love about that. The fact that you can filter by, you know, like with your clutter and things, you can filter by what the client would like. So at least now I'm only putting in things that the client would actually like or the style of things that the client would like. Okay, so I've added in a few different uh, artwork pieces, which will suit their, you know, thing that they like. And then um, let's move on to the bathroom because it does say that they want a bathroom too. And we'll keep within contemporary and garden the things that they've asked for. And then that way they can't be bothered by it. But I think they are going to be pissed off where it's going to cost so much. But because I can't see how much I'm spending, um, I'm kind of like unlimited when it comes to money right now. Okay, there we go. I've done them a bathroom and I've also done them a nice little, um, you know, office with like a little reading area. Personally, I actually really like this. I think it looks really nice. The outside I did a little, I don't, I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to edit the whole house or whether I'm even supposed to be able to add a whole extra roof on top. I don't know if I met the, the brief. It did say that you could, um, it did say to design a top level. Like, I don't know if it was just me who saw that? You guys will have to tell me too, but I'm pretty sure it said to build like an extra level. So I'm pretty much just following the brief that it gave me and to build building a top floor just up here. I think it looks nice, but if the client doesn't think so, then it's gonna be a darn shame. Okay, I'm coming outside to give the clients a call to tell them to come back. Um, and I want to show it off and here's the hoping that it works this time, guys. I really hope that it's not broken. Oh, even their pets come back with them, so cute. So I'm gonna come up to them and uh, reveal the renovations to them. Here we go. So I think we come up to the door and then we do the little sparkle. <laughs> Look how cute that is. That's so sweet. And she's like, come on inside. Does anybody care? Oh, he cares. Oh, he cares. Oh, he cares. He likes it. Okay, that's good. He's liking this. Let me show him the, uh... oh yeah. Okay, thumbs up, thumbs up. This is good. Let me show him this. Okay, what does he think? Let me get his reaction. He seems kind of in, like dazed by it, which is great. She's running into the bathroom. Okay, we're doing the final little bit of uh, getting to know everybody. Here we go. And then we just have to wait for everybody to give to ask for their final verdicts. And here's hoping that it doesn't break. In terms of the gameplay, I'm actually really enjoying this. I would really like to play through something like this myself, but I found so far that it's been really buggy. I mean, my first one, my first gig, I wasn't able to complete. So for me, um, I wasn't able to complete that, you know? So yeah, for me, it didn't really work because um, I wasn't able to complete the first gig. So I'm hoping that if this gig, it like doesn't have any issues that it's the, you know, it'll be clear of, uh, it'll be clear of the bugs. This was a lot to take in. I'm ready to talk about the changes. I feel like she's not gonna like it as much, but I feel like he will. I think I've seen enough. Let's go over my thoughts. And then the daughter also said this was a lot to take in as well. Okay, so let me go over and tell everybody. Oh, she loves it. Look how excited she's getting. Oh, I love that interaction. That is so cute. Really, really sweet. Okay, so she seemed to like it. That's really good. I didn't get that interaction from the last woman. Oh, and he likes it as well. Look at him. I mean, I mean, in fairness, the other woman cried. So it's like, where's the where's the same interaction, huh? Why is there no crying? And then uh, let me ask their little daughter as well what she thinks. What do you think? Oh, even she likes it. That's cute. Even though, you know, you're probably just gonna do your homework up there. Something like that. Oh my God, look at that interaction. 
Oh my god, it worked! Okay, I actually got this thing come up on my screen. Okay, well that's good. At least this time it actually worked because last time I didn't even get this come up. So I earned 1,100 and also my reputation increased significantly. And it says that went nicely. The client seemed to really like the new layout and the keen eye for detail seemed to pay off. I, so far, <laughs> I haven't had a single, you know, the portfolio is supposed to show you the before and after photos. That hasn't happened a single time. The first time the game crashed. I think I've got my final thoughts for this pack um, all in order. So let me go ahead and give them to you guys. So my opinions for this pack. My first opinion would be, um, I love the build buy. Okay, the build buy is exceptionally good for this pack. It's insane. It's so worth it. The build buy is just so incredible. And I'd say um, if, you, if you're an avid builder and you enjoy decorating in The Sims, you will love, love the build buy. They're so useful. You can use them in so many different environments. I really, really like that. In terms of the creator sim, creator sim was good for women, not so great for men. So again, I'd say if you was a woman, if you want it specifically for the creator sim, then, you know, it's good for you. But as a man, if you play as men or you want to decorate, you know, uh, create a, play, you know, play around with creator sim with your men, you're not going to get a lot of content in it. And then for gameplay, well, for one, I'd say it's a bit buggy. <laughs> I mean, the pack only came out a few days ago, admittedly, but... When you release things like packs in The Sims 4, like DLCs, they should have been tested. Like, you know, like that. That is something that should have been tested, whether you can actually complete gigs correctly. My first one ended up crashing, so I lost all of my progress, all that build you done. And I feel like that would really dishearten me to play. Um, if I was playing my own game and wasn't actually doing a review for, you know, a pack, I would be so disheartened if I put all that time and effort into trying to achieve a really, really cute... Um, cute pad for somebody and cute renovation and then it doesn't even complete it the game isn't saved and i have to force quit the game to reload it that was really disappointing uh, but the second one it did work but the feature where you can compare the before and after photos also didn't come up so it's like there's definitely a lot of bugs in terms of gameplay with this pack so if i were to recommend you to buy the pack i would say for build by it crazy good you should probably just lay your money out now for crazy sim maybe for gameplay, I would actually say wait and don't buy it yet and wait until the bugs are fixed. Wait until another patch comes out. Wait until the team fixes some of the bugs because it's just not, it, well, for me, it wasn't a very playable experience. And if I was playing that in my own game and trying to enjoy it, I just wouldn't enjoy it, you know? I know I only had one bug so far out of the two gigs that I did. Um, and don't get me wrong, actually the gameplay is really fun. I really enjoy doing the renovations and I feel like I would really enjoy doing them. And um, I'd have a really fun time, but not if the game doesn't save and I have to force quit after every gig, that's not gonna be fun. So maybe wait until some of the bugs are fixed before you pick the game up. That is my final verdict and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm also sorry if it's a little bit longer than normal, but I wanted to cover everything so you guys knew my full opinions of the pack and whether I think you should spend your coin or not. So I am gonna go ahead and end the video off here and I hope you guys enjoyed. And of course, if you did, remember to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also ding the little notification bell next to it and you'll get notified every single time I upload, which means you'll never miss a video from me. If you enjoyed this video, remember to go ahead and share it with your friends and I will speak to you all in my very next video. I love you all. Bye guys.